In a time when technology evolves faster than you can imagine, here I am doing the unthinkable. Installing a Firewire card. Here's what you can expect for today's episode. We're going to use a retro PC to install a Firewire card in order to send some footage from the computer back onto tape through the Firewire cable. And so welcome to Crazy Hearts, amazing emporium of total retro madness. And sometimes other things too. Today we are going to install this bad boy into a retro computer so that I can send a music video that I shot on my Sony FX3 back to tape. Modern editing software is great. I use it all the time. But there's just something about old school, grainy, digital eight quality that screams 2000s. So I dug out my old Sony camcorder and let's be real, I did not dig this out. I have never put it away. So I've done a version of this project before using a VCR. I finished a video on my computer that I filmed with my FX3 and then I transmitted it to a VCR and then re-imported it back onto my computer so that I could get VHS quality. But this time I wanted to do that with a digital eight tape. Also, I'm sick, so if I look haggard, that's why. But anyway, there's actually a DV in on this camcorder and you can theoretically use the DV in to transmit video from your computer back onto the tape but it became more complicated when I realized that no modern editing software has that capability anymore. It's gone. It's gone. I couldn't even find a way to upload a tape through Firewire in Premiere. You can do it with Final Cut. Retro Hark here. I just wanted to let you know that Apple actually discontinued support for Firewire. Thanks for screwing me over, Apple. But even though I could use Final Cut to put footage from the camcorder onto the computer, I couldn't actually send anything back to tape, which is a feature that has probably not been used by anyone in almost 20 years. <laughs> and I've done plenty of videos that I actually shot on this camcorder. I have no idea where we are. Maybe we can climb that tree up ahead to see if we can see where the campsite is. All right, sounds good. The reason why I didn't shoot this one on the camcorder is because the place that I was shooting in was very dark and I wanted the leeway and exposure that my modern camera has. I realized, oh right, I might need Firewire to make this work. So we're diving deep into the past because sometimes you've gotta take a step back to move forward. But what even is Firewire? Is it a character from a Marvel movie? Is it a forgotten energy drink from the 2000s? Firewire, also known as IEEE 1394, was a high-speed data transfer protocol invented back when high-speed meant slightly faster than a floppy disk. That was an exaggeration. It was invented by Apple in the late 80s, and it was popularized in the 90s, and this was a big deal because it allowed us to transfer digital video from camcorders directly to computers without losing quality. Thank you, Firewire. But why, you might ask, was Firewire necessary? Well, back in the day, USB was still learning how to walk. USB 1.1 was very slow, and meanwhile, Firewire was like, blazing fast. And Firewire was the standard for digital video until it got swept away by the more versatile and frankly less dramatic USB 2.0 and later 3.0. Around the early 2010s, Firewire started its descent into the technology graveyard and USB continued to get faster and more efficient. And then Thunderbolt came along and basically made Firewire completely obsolete. And here we are in 2024 playing with Firewire yet again, because while the world moves onto bigger and better things, I'm not doing that. Now it's time to open up my computer and start the installation adventure. Are you feeling bummed out? Try a computer. Computers make everyone happy. Call one. It's time to open this up. Screws, metal, the faint smell of Y2K. It's installation time. And I have a camera behind me so that you can kind of see what's going on inside the computer. Let's get started. This is our Firewire card and it's sitting in the slot right underneath our video card. We have some new slots, 
Now we just are going to put the case back on. We're just about ready to boot up. As far as my setup goes for the computer, I have a monitor behind me, a CRT monitor. This will display the screen from the computer. And you may be thinking that's not very practical because you're facing this way and the monitor is facing that way. But no worries. I have a VGA splitter that has one end going into the CRT monitor and the other end going into my cam link so that I can screen record it so that you can see it from more than one angle. I'm turning it on. I'm terrified right now. I can hear it starting up. Nothing happened. Now it's time to troubleshoot problem number one. The computer wouldn't boot up with the FireWire card installed. I think we need a new card. After ordering and installing a new FireWire card, the computer booted up right away and the drivers were automatically installed. We can see the IEEE 1394 bus host controllers. It is listed here. That is our FireWire card right there. Now it's time to load the software oh. and I'm using Pinnacle Studio 11. This box is in really good shape. There was something so special and so fun about going to the store and bringing home an actual box with your software on it. It felt substantial, it felt real, it felt magical. Disc number one, here we go. Pinnacle Studio 11 was released in 2007. Now you can just like sit here and wait. <gasps> wow, it's so beautiful. Things happen so fast now when you are downloading an app, for example. I miss just the excitement of the installation experience. Nine Emmys and a host. It came with Pinnacle Studio 11, this quick start guide, along with the Pinnacle manual. I don't know if anyone else did this, but when I got new software, when I was a teen in the early 2000s, I would read the manuals, the whole thing from cover to cover, invested. Let's put in the next disc. This one just says it's a bonus CD. What could that mean? I accept, I'm not even reading this. I just heard a sound from the monitor behind me. Is it gonna blow? We are going to launch Pinnacle and see what happens. This is our library. It'll show your individual clips and you can edit them like this. You can also choose to go into a timeline mode. This is kind of a more simplified mode. Basically, I just need to find which file format I need in order to import my footage, and I just need to put it on the timeline. The next step of the process is to load up the video, the music video, which is on this flash drive. Unfortunately, the flash drive did not work and led to troubleshooting problem number two. My current computer and Windows XP use different file systems, and they do not like to communicate with one another. So after a bit of troubleshooting, I found a more obsolete solution. To burn a disk. So I'm going to take this disk and put it in to my computer and transfer the files over that way. I have the files right here. I can play in VLC. It's going, playing in HD. I might need to convert these files, but that's okay. And then we'll be able to put it onto tape. In the end, I decided that it was best to match the file format, aspect ratio, and frame rate of my camcorder so that the computer would easily allow me to transmit it back to the tape. And that was 720 by 480 at 29.97 frames per second. We'll use this one because it has the audio track in it. Okay, so it is working, it is loading. It detected all the scenes for me. I don't actually need this, I just need the file. So we're just gonna take this and plop it in here. Maybe I should add like a title. Are these all premium? It won't let me authorize anything. I remember these titles. I remember using this one and thinking it was so cool on an old vacation video. Okay, so let's double click here so that we can edit our title. Okay, I feel like this is very, it's very simple. Can we like fade a, okay, we can. Now we're gonna click tape. Right now the output type only has VGA display listed and that's because we do not have the camera plugged in. So let's plug in the camera. Once we turn it on, that should come up as another output type. Let's see if it refreshed. It didn't, so let's go back here and come back. 
there we go. So now we have DV camcorder as an option. Now this is the moment of truth because it's only going to let me send this to the camera if the video is in the right file format. It looks like it's working. So now it's gonna render. I'm gonna press record. worked. It's done recording. Now we can import this footage back into the computer. And here I am about to discover that I have a new problem. For some reason it's not recognizing it. Hold on guys. I'm pretty sure that this project is cursed. When I was trying to take that footage that I put on the tape successfully back onto the computer, it kept not working. And it turns out that the actual FireWire port on my camcorder is broken. Firewire is off the table for now after all of that work. But that's okay because we have solutions, we have options. I got this cheap USB to S video converter and I plugged the other end of the S video cable into the S video out of my camcorder right here. And I captured the footage that way. This is all a learning experience. I'm gonna play a couple pieces from the video as I captured it from the camcorder and compare it to the full 4K version. And you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments, which is better. So here is the side-by-side -side comparison. The 4K edited version versus the lovingly degraded tape version. <laughs> Was this project worth it? No, probably not. But hey, we did it together. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe you like wasting hours of your life for results that look like they were shot on a potato. And if you do, you should like and subscribe. Because if it's one thing I can promise you, it's more most likely pointless, but perhaps entertaining tech escapades in the future. But that's a wrap. Thank you for coming along on this wild, mostly pointless ride. I actually had a lot of fun. And until next time, please keep chasing your retro dreams. Is that a weird thing to say?